Hey everybody, and thanks for stopping by Funny Bug Bees and Woodworks. Uh, in this video, we're going to try to knock out two birds with one stone. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is show everyone who's been asking for it a video on how to uh, assemble and manufacture a 10 frame Freeman style hive beetle trap. The second thing that we're going to uh, to do with this video is use it as the how-to video uh, in our customer support section of our website. So people that order these traps from us unassembled will have an assembly video. So if you see me making references to both of those things, don't be confused. Uh, that's kind of what we're doing with the video. So hope you enjoy today's content. If you follow my channel, you already know that in every how-to video, we give a 10% off coupon code. If you guys would rather prefer to buy this piece of equipment rather than build it, um, you can visit Funny Bug Bees and Woodworks uh, online. This is our website, funnybugbees.com. We'll give you a 10% off coupon code at the end of the video. Just take that, put it into the coupon code box during checkout, and you'll get 10% off uh, this hive beetle trap yourself. Really quickly, just to let you guys know, since we normally do step-by-step how-to videos where we actually show us cutting the parts on the saw that format is going to change a little bit for this video because we are putting this video in the customer support section of our website hello everyone and welcome to a funny bug bees and woodworks instructional video in this video we'll show you step by step how to build the freeman style high beetle trap if you order it from us unassembled as you can see on screen this is your bottom board the beetle trap bottom this is part a go ahead and set this part out and we'll move to the next step all right you're ready for step two this is where you will attach the long rails that begin to form the space that your pan will slide into grab these two parts align them both to one end of the bottom board glue and either nail or screw them from the underside of the bottom. You will need to use clamps for this process. Your next step is to take both parts C. You have two of them. They are here and here on the video. These form the front of the trap, the area where the bees will actually land, your landing board. Both of these parts, parts C, should be glued and stapled or nailed to the front of the trap as pictured here. Your next step in this process is to take part D as in David pictured here and glue and staple it to part C here as well as to add staples on the sides here of part B so that it is held in place while the glue sets. You can do this on both sides through part B. To assist you, here's a close-up of the front of the trap with parts B, two parts C, and one part D attached to the bottom board, which was part A. This shows what you should have completed at this point. It is parts A, B, C, and D. You will want to stop at this point and paint the trap. Top, bottom, front, back, sides. Paint this entire trap. You will also want to take parts E and F, which you have not completed yet, and paint those as well. After you have finished painting the trap, it's time to install the hardware cloth. The hardware cloth that we use is uh, a special hardware cloth with a 3.2 millimeter aperture, the size of the openings in, uh, in the cloth, which is the exact size of an adult female small hive beetle. Uh, that's why the trap works. Beetles can get through it, but not bees. So to install it, you're simply going to line the side of the cloth and the front of the cloth up with the side rails of your trap, which were part B here and part D here. It should run right there at the edge of part C and D and towards the back of the hive. You can install this by stapling it in place with T50 staples and then we'll move to the next step. As you can see here, the 
hardware cloth should come flush to the rear of the trap, which is how you want it to be. Here we're showing you a close up of the front of the trap where your B landing board is. These were parts C and D. Make sure to staple all the way across the front of the trap your screen in place so that uh, insects uh, can't crawl out from under it or into it and bees can't get into the trap area where the liquid will go. Your next step is to take part F which is the short riser and screw it in place. You will do that by putting a screw through the top of the riser here and down into part B here and repeating for the other side. I realize this step is out of sync. We've skipped over part E, but it's generally easier to install this piece first, flush with the rear. That way your spacing is correct on parts E when we put them on. So after you have painted the trap, stapled your screen in place along both long edges and the front of the trap, then you will install part E. You'll want to pre-drill all holes for screws um, or use finishing nails to do this so that you don't split these parts. After clamping and screwing part F in place, which is this part here, as described in the previous step, you'll want to flip the whole trap upside down and use a T50 stapler to staple this hardware cloth to the underside of part F so that bees can't get between the cloth and part F. Here is another view of how part F should be attached to the trap. You will put a screw through this portion of part F down into part B on both sides of the trap. Being careful to pre-drill for your screw holes if you're going to use screws or using a finished nail if you're going to use nails so that you do not split part F. Then you will staple this hardware cloth to the underside of part F by flipping it over. In the next step you will attach part E which is the long riser rail. There are two of these. They go as pictured butted up against part F in the rear and covering part D in the front. You will put three screws into this, one roughly here that will screw down into part D, one roughly in the center, and one roughly at the rear. If you use screws, again, be careful to pre-drill and countersink your holes so that the screws are below the surface of the wood so that your box fits flush, or flat rather, on the trap. Then you will repeat this for the opposite side of the trap. Once you have completed attaching both part E's, which are your long riser rails, this is what your completed trap should look like. Of course, this one is pictured without the metal stapled and without the pieces screwed in place, uh, but you get the idea, it's pretty simple. At this point, your, box has, your trap has been painted, everything is screwed down and stapled, it's ready to install as the bottom board on your beehive. The last step, of course, is to take your tray, uh, slide it in with the exception of an inch or two to allow you to put about a quarter of an inch of mineral oil, which is what we recommend because it doesn't oxidize like vegetable oil will, uh, but you can use used vegetable oil or new vegetable oil as well. But put about a quarter of an inch of vegetable oil in your pan slide the pan all the way to the front and then put on the rear cover which is provided to you uh, in the kit. That's it. You're ready to catch beetles. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you visit funnybugbeesandwoodworks.com and we will see you in the next video.